Hi guys, it's Kamel. Welcome to my channel. So in this week's video, I made a pair of two-toned shorts. So they're black in the back and gray in the front. I made these shorts from a piece of scrap fabric from sweatpants. So if you guys want to see how I made these shorts, just keep on watching. But before I show you guys how I made them, be sure to subscribe down below and hit the bell button to get notified every time I post. And now on to the video. So what you'll need to make these shorts is some fabric. Here I have some sweatpants fabric that was cut and I have two colors of them to make the two-toned shorts. I have black which is going to be in the back of the shorts and I also have gray which is going to be in the front of the shorts. Um, I could just make two different colored pairs of these shorts but I wanted to try making them two-toned. You'll also need some shorts that you like the fit of. Um, shorts that you like the fit of. I like the fit of both of these shorts. And you'll need these so you can trace a pattern to make these shorts. And then I also have some string to tie the shorts. So I'm going to try to do it like this. Like have the string in the shorts like that. You'll also need a pen to mark out the pattern of the shorts. You'll also need some measuring tape. Well, no, not really. You don't really need measuring tape, but it's good to have it. So I have it just because I'm going to be adding a few inches off the bottom of the shorts because I want the bottom of my shorts to be rolled up. You'll also need some pins to hold the fabric together as well as some fabric scissors. And this is just my bag of sewing supplies. You'll also need a needle and thread, but I'm going to be using a sew machine because it is much faster and easier. But if you don't have a sew machine, you can use needle and thread or you can use fabric glue. So, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take apart these. Um, I'm going to take apart the two colors, so I'm going to cut them open and lay them out flat but if you have just fabric you don't have to do that but just make sure your fabric is flat as can be all right so i have all four of them cut so i have two little black pieces as well as two little gray pieces um i also realized i don't know how i'm going to do this because of these seams like these middle seams, so there's just going to be like seams on the shorts somehow. But anyways, so now you're going to turn your fabric um, wrong side out. And you are going to take your shorts and trace them on the wrong side of the fabric. So, yes. so you're going to fold your shorts, right? So I have a pair of shorts here that I like the fit of them. And I am going to fold them. So fold them to the front side like that. So that's the front side. I'm going to make sure it's all lined up and symmetrical and stuff like that. And I'm going to trace them on the wrong side of the fabric. Right now I'm trying to see how I want to trace them. Also, I did want to add a few inches off the bottom of the shorts, but it doesn't look like I can. Alright, so now I'm going to take my pen and trace them. When you trace it, make sure you have a few inches, about an inch or two. Trace it about an inch away from it. You don't want it like too close. You want to trace it about an inch away for your seam allowance. Let's see if I can do it. And then for the top part, I'm going to add a few more inches. Um, a few more inches for the waistband 
because I'm not going to have enough fabric to cut a strip of fabric for the waistband to attach it, so I'm just going to add it. So there we go, done tracing it. I'm gonna label this front. Um, I'm gonna put a little S, yes, on there. Put a little F on it so I know that it's the front. I'm gonna do the same to this one. However, I'm going to flip it now. I'm going to flip the shorts and trace it again. So I'm going to do the same thing with the black fabric, just um, flipping the shorts to the back. So this was the front and I'm going to fold it to the back. I'm going to trace it one way and then trace it another way. Make sure your shorts are perfectly folded. So I'm going to do this to the black fabric and I'll be right back. Alright guys, so I am done tracing them out now. Now I have my back side and then my front side. Um, so now I'm going to try to match them up and cut off any excess fabric, I guess. Well, I know, cut off any excess fabric. So that's what I'm going to try to do now. Um, I'm probably going to pin them just so they don't move while I am cutting off the excess fabric. Alright guys, so I'm going to show you guys how I've been trying to cut them to the same size. i already done it with this gray one here. But as you can see, there's a little bit left over there just because I wanted to leave that there because I'm not sure how much I'm going to need for the waistband part. But I haven't done the black one yet, so it was may or may not see. But as you can see here, um, there's um, one is like smaller than the other. So I've been cutting it to the smallest one, the smaller one. I don't know. So as you can see, there's a little bit there. This one, the top one, is smaller than this one. So I'm going to cut that off. And if I flip it over, there's still some I need to cut. Like, that part. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but that's what I'm doing. Just cutting it to the size of the smaller one by flipping it back and forth. I also realized that the seams are not going to line up like these two seams. Oh my gosh, I have no idea. Okay. Like these two seams here, they're not going to line up. But that is fine, I guess, because these are just trial and error shorts. So I'm going to try sewing them. And then if I decide next time I want to sew them, I know what I need to fix. But I am done um, making sure they're even, and now I am going to start sewing. So um, you, I'm going to start with the gray side, um, which is going to be my front side. So you want to make sure your fabric is good, to, good side to good side. So you want to make sure that the wrong side is facing upwards. Or outwards. Um, so you want to make sure the wrong side is facing outwards and the good side of the fabric is on the inside. And then I we are going to sew this part, the little J, the inner, the little crotch part here. So we're going to sew this part here. Make sure you sew it a bit from the edge, like in half an inch to an inch. Um, from the edge of the fabric. You don't want to sew too close to the edge. You want to sew a bit away from the edge of the fabric. So I'm going to go do that. Okay, so we are at the sewing machine now. 
and you want to make sure you have matching thread um i have matching thread here i just have some dark gray thread um so you want to make sure you have it on a straight stitch so i put mine on seven Also, I have this seam here. Um, my seams on the fabric, like I said, are going different ways. So I have a seam here, like this seam here, and then I have this seam here. I'm going to basically just press this um, one way. So I'm gonna press it that way. Be sure to backstitch when you begin your seam and when you end your seam to make sure the stitch doesn't come out. So now that we stitched it, we're going to go back and cut off a little bit of this excess fabric here. Um, you can also use like these zigzag stitch. You can also use these zigzag scissors. Um, those are basically just going to make sure that the fabric doesn't fray. But I don't have zigzag scissors, so I'm just going to cut it this way. You can also serge this edge if you have a serger, but I don't have a serger. So I'm just going to cut a little bit of that off, but I'm not going to cut the seam, like too close to the seam. So now I'm going to switch to a zigzag stitch to um, go over the end of this edge here just to make sure the fabric doesn't fray and it doesn't um, make this stitch come undone. So I'm going to do that. Alright guys, so I am now done doing the little zigzag stitch, done stitching. So we have our straight stitch and then we have our zigzag stitch to prevent fraying. Now you're going to do the same thing to the black side. Um, honestly, I didn't need to put all the pins around the shorts. I could have just put it on the parts where I was just sewing. So it was kind of unnecessary to put all the pins around the shorts, but oh well. So now I'm going to open them up. Oh my goodness. See how the seams are not like aligned? See how like the seams are going different ways, guys? See how like there's a seam going that way, there's a seam going that way because of the fabric I used. I mean, these seams are kind of okay, but not really okay. Like, there's a seam going that way and a seam going that way. But, anyways, so now I open them up, and now I'm going to place them good side to good side. So the wrong side is facing upwards. And I am now going to line them up. So I'm going to pin the sides together. I'm just going to put pins on the sides of them. Alright, so now that I've pinned the sides of the shorts, I'm now going to sew the sides of the shorts. So now I'm going to do the same thing I did for the middle crotch parts and I'm just going to sew a straight stitch down the side, cut off any excess fabric, and then sew a zigzag stitch. And I'll be back when I'm done doing that. Alright, so I am done sewing the sides now. Um, straight stitch, zigzag stitch. So, now I am going to um, sew this part. So, this is the bottom part of the shorts. 
as you guys can see, I was zoomed in. But anyways, so this is the bottom part of the shorts, top part, bottom part, and we are going to sew this part. We're going to sew it like that, like in a rainbow form thing. And you're going to push this seam here to one side and push this seam here to the other side. That way it's not as bulky when you sew across that part. So I'm going to do the same thing like I did to the side seams. I'm going to sew a straight stitch around there, cut off any excess, and then sew a zigzag stitch around there. So you're going to sew like that. And be sure to match up your seams that you have. So make sure your seams here are touching together. Make sure one pushes that way and one push the other way. Make sure you just want to make sure it's all lined up. You want to um, start sewing from the middle part and then sew that way, and then sew from the middle part and then sew that way. Um, or you can just go the whole way. But I think sewing it in two parts will be a bit easier. So I'm going to sew it in two parts. Alright, so I am done sewing that. Same thing, straight stitch, straight stitch, zigzag stitch. Now your shorts are wearable. They're, you can wear them now um, to see how they fit. And you can adjust them if you need to adjust them. So now we are going to hem the bottom edges. So we're basically going to flip them upwards like that and then do a straight stitch all around. For this one, you don't have to zigzag stitch it. You could just straight stitch it. Um, or you can zigzag stitch it first and then straight stitch it. Or instead of doing a zigzag stitch, you can double hem it, which means just fold it over once and then fold it over again and then sew a straight stitch that way. Um, I'm going to double hem it, so I'm going to do that. Okay, so as you guys can see, our shorts are starting to come alive and starting to look put together. Um, I just got done doing the bottom part, the leg parts, which took me a while. Um, I did it one inch, so this whole measurement here is an inch. So in the last clip before this one, I told you guys to double hem it. But I doubled hemmed it the other way so the wrong side was facing outwards. And I just top stitched it. But our shorts are starting to come together. So now there's all left to do is the top edge. So for the top edge, we are going to fold it down like this. And this is where we can start using our string. So my string is shoelaces that I have have not used, have yet to use. So I am going to create a little casing for the laces to go through. So in order to create the casing for the shoelaces to go through, we're going to fold it down about an inch. So, and I'm also going to tuck in this raw edge just a little bit like that and make sure that's like an inch so it's a little tube for the shoelaces to go through. And I'm just going to pin that like that. And then, yeah, so I'm going to do that all the way around, just starting pinning it like that, like how I showed you. So I'm going to show you guys one more time. So I'm going to tuck the raw edge in a little bit and then pull it down about an inch. And in it. I am also going to be using the tape measure to make sure it is an inch. Um, so I'm going to do that all the way around the top part. Okay, so before we um, sew the casing, I didn't sew it yet, but I'm going to mark where the strings are going to come out of. So these are the front of my shorts, and we have a little center seam. This is my center seam. That's just a random seam there from the fabric. But I'm gonna leave. Um, I'm gonna mark two little holes of where I want the strings to come out of. So I'm going to mark it about here and here. So I basically just eyeball that. 
Um, you can measure it if you want to. Um, and then I'm going to cut the little holes. Cut a little hole there. And then cut a little hole here. So I'm going to cut where I marked where I wanted it to come out of. Make sure you're only cutting the front part and not the back part. So cut only through the front part. Like done pinning the top edge. So now I'm going to sew it all the way around, leaving an opening for my string to go through. But you want to leave about an inch gap so you're able to thread the string in your casing that we just made. So I'm going to sew a top stitch or a straight stitch around the casing, the edge of it. The edge of the casing like around here so a straight stitch being sure to leave about an inch gap all right guys so i finished sewing along the top part of the shorts so as you can see i did the top part and then i also tucked in the raw edge there see it gives it a clean look also, I had two pins here to mark where I begin and stop. So I'm also going to take these out now because I don't need them. All right, so now we can thread our string through the casing thing, through the casing that we made. So here it is. So we are going to put it in through the little case I made and through this little hole here. And then with this side, then with this side, I'm actually going to thread that through. So I'm going to go this way into the casing. It helps if you have a safety pin or a bobby pin, but I don't have a safety pin, so I'm going to go get a bobby pin. Okay, so I have a bobby pin now, and I'm going to take the end of it and put it through like that and I'm also going to tie a little knot here so we don't come out from the bobby pin and now we're going to thread that through the casing so like that pull the parts in yeah it is going to take a while I'll come back to you guys when I'm done all right so I did get stuck um, putting it through the casing, but I finally got it through. So once you get it through, you are going to take out the bobby pin and take out the knot. If you want to take out the knot, but I'm going to take out the knot. And then you're going to feed this through the hole that we made on the front like that and you're going to adjust it make sure they are even and now we are going to close up the little hole that we left um just going to tuck it in and close it with a straight stitch and then we'll be done so i finished sewing the hole and now i'm going to try them on Guys, I am super happy with the shorts. They came out just how I envisioned them for them to come out. They have the black color in the back and the gray color in the front. I love how they roll because I wanted them to roll like that. I also love the way how they tie. I wanted them to tie like that. They came out so good and I'm so happy with the outcome.